You can learn to code and get a job as a software engineer 100% on your own without a college degree. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dorian, a self-taught programmer. I created this channel to help motivate others who are currently learning how to code. If that's something you're into, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. So according to a recent article that I found on Glassdoor, Google, Apple, and IBM all no longer require degrees for software engineer positions. And HackerRank's developer survey showed that 27.4% of programmers were self-taught. Elon Musk said on Twitter that he doesn't even care if you graduated high school or not, as long as you have a deep understanding of AI and know how to usefully implement neural networks, you can get a job at Tesla. I remember when I was teaching myself to code, I would often feel that I was wasting my time learning on my own, and I really contemplated attending community college or enrolling in a boot camp. But I didn't, and I continued to go the self-taught route, which I'm glad I chose to do that because it saved me a ton of time and money. And although I fumbled around a little bit when I was first starting out, being able to learn at my own pace and make my own hours for learning was what made it possible for me to land my first dev job in less than a year. You may also be concerned that you won't make as much as someone with a college degree. I know this worried me a bit when I was first learning how to code. And while it may be true early in your career if you're self-taught, after you have a few years of experience, if you market yourself correctly, you can make a boatload of money regardless of if you're self-taught or not. All that really matters is industry experience and subject matter knowledge. I've been a developer for three years. I make $90,000 a year. I've interviewed and come really close to getting jobs that pay over 100 grand a year. I dropped out in ninth grade and I have a GED. Trust me when I tell you, you absolutely 100% do not need a college degree to become a software engineer. I personally have friends that are senior level developers that are 100% self-taught who make over 120 grand a year and work remotely. So believe me when I tell you that you can do this self-taught. Don't know how to get started? Well, I'm gonna give you a few tips on that right now. But if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a like to help me with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you wanna build websites and web apps, you can look into web development. This is what I do, so I'm a little bit biased and I usually recommend this for newcomers. I also feel that it's one of the easier areas of development to get into. If you do wanna learn about web development, I recommend starting with the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I highly recommend checking out freecodecamp.org. It's a great resource and it's completely free. If you're interested in building mobile apps for phones, you should check out Java or Kotlin for Android development. And for iOS development, you'll need to purchase a Mac and you'll want to learn Swift. If you wanna learn about AI or machine learning, I would probably recommend Python. Python is also a great first language to learn because it has such easy syntax and makes it real easy for beginners to read. After you've decided what area of software development you're interested in learning about, I'd recommend doing a few tutorials on the language that you chose, sticking with that one language until you have a good grasp of basic programming concepts and learn to implement CRUD functionality in the language and the stack that you're working in. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete. To do this, you're gonna have to understand how the back end works with the front end and works with the database. So at this point, you'll probably wanna dabble a little bit in just getting yourself familiar with databases and just choosing your database to get you going for the projects that you're gonna be building. I wouldn't get too hung up on this. I would say just make a choice between SQL or NoSQL, which are relational and non-relational databases and move forward to building your own projects at this point. Once you've done a few tutorials and you've got the basics down and you know how to create, read, update, delete, now is the time when you should be focusing on building your own projects. You don't wanna get caught up doing tutorials for too long. You get stagnant and you don't realize that you're not learning as much as you would be if you were building your own projects. And you really don't learn this until you've found out the hard way. At least that's what happened to me. You know, luckily with, with 
YouTube and people sharing information. A lot of people say this now, you don't wanna get stuck doing tutorials for too long. So make sure that you don't make that mistake like many beginners do, like I did myself and many of us out there do. As soon as you start building your own projects, I highly recommend learning Git and creating a GitHub or a GitLab account and start pushing your code up to that account so that you can see your progress and have a place where potential employers can come and see your code and see how active you are and how often you commit code. For programmers who aren't gonna be focusing on front end or have very aesthetically pleasing portfolios, a good GitHub account or GitLab account is very valuable to show how much you know and what you're capable of doing. And once you've built a few projects, I highly recommend starting a portfolio, updating your LinkedIn, create a resume, and start applying for jobs. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people do is waiting to apply for jobs. The worst thing that can happen is getting rejected. And although many of us feel rejection, you don't wanna wait too long to start applying and have it be an afterthought. If you, if you do this, you play a game of catch up and if you work on your resume and LinkedIn accounts early on and your portfolio early on, you don't have to go back and rush to get everything ready if a recruiter contacts you or if you have a potential job that contacts you. So get this stuff set early and start applying early because if you do get some interviews, you can get a little bit of practice interviewing and who knows, you might land the job much faster than you thought you would. A lot of people do it. You hear many stories of people landing jobs within three and five months of learning how to code. Maybe you can be one of those stories. It took me about 10 months or so to get my first job from when I started learning how to code to the day I stepped in that office. And while you're applying, you're gonna wanna keep building and working on your own projects. I also recommend contributing to open source, maybe looking for freelance work. And I highly recommend checking out meetups and networking in your area. You can find meetup groups through the meetup app. You can also look for hackathons in your area. If you live in a big city, a lot of these are more available to you than if you were in a more rural area. But nonetheless, you should still look. Another thing that you can do is start your own meetup group. I know a few people that have done this and I know meetup group coordinators that got their meetup group started and grew their groups to over 50 people attending which was pretty awesome and they brought a community of developers together to share what they work on and just kind of talk about everything that developers talk about when they're in a room together. And as you do all these things, your portfolio will grow, your, your resume will get better because you'll have more projects that you can mention on there and you'll, you'll get to know a lot of people that can potentially help you break into the industry if you are networking. And I promise you that if you do all these things and you stick with it, that you can definitely get a job as a self-taught programmer and a software engineer 100% with no college degree or the need to attend a coding bootcamp. Believe me. And with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks and see you next time.